As a SaaS business owner, you understand that keeping up with changes in your industry is vital to stay ahead of the competition. But what about changes to your brand? Your brand is a living and dynamic organism that needs to respond to changes in its environment. However, making modifications to a product with tons of pages, multiple brands can be a really time consuming process, normally leading to deviation from brand consistency. This can really harm your business's reputation and customer loyalty, and that's not what we want. That's where Atomic Design comes in, a design methodology that can help you create a modular and adaptable design system for your SaaS product. If you have heard of Atomic Design, you might know that it involves breaking down design elements into smaller components to create a more scalable system. But what about the other principles of Atomic Design and how can they benefit your SaaS business? In this video, that's what we're going to explore, the key five principles of atomic design and show you how to apply them to your design system to create an efficient and consistent user experience. So whether you are new to atomic design or looking to refine your design system, let's dive in and see how atomic design can benefit your SaaS business. Atomic design is basically a methodology that breaks down complex interfaces into smaller and more manageable parts. There are exactly five main principles of atomic design that can be applied to a design system for your SaaS product. The first of them being atoms. These are the smallest building blocks of a design system, such as buttons, icons, and typography. By creating a library of reusable atoms, we can quickly and easily create new components and layouts. The second one, molecules. These are groups of atoms that work together to perform specific functions. We can think of them as a search bar, for example. By grouping these atoms together into a molecule, designers can create more complex components with this. Now, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more SaaS tips, and feel free to book a course with us at the User Active using the link in the comments below if you want to talk to a SaaS expert about how can we help you and your product. Let's get back to the five principles. The third of them, organisms. These are groups of molecules that work together to form a functional part of the user interface, like a navigation menu, for example, where we combine a bunch of buttons, icons, logos, and many others. Now, by grouping these molecules together into an organism, designers can create larger and more complex components that are still modular and reusable. The next one, templates. Templates use the atoms, the molecules, and organisms to create a coherent user interface that is consistent throughout the product. And finally, but not least, pages. Pages are templates to create a consistent and cohesive user experience that is just easy to navigate and use. Now, by applying these principles to your design system, you can create a modular and scalable design that can adapt to the changing needs of your product. This is just going to make it easier to maintain and update over time, while still providing a consistent user experience for your customers. You can basically update and create a more efficient and effective product and provide a consistent experience to build brand loyalty and trust, simply by applying these principles to your design system. If you're a SaaS owner, consider incorporating the design principles into your design system. This will not only benefit your customers, but will also help your product remain relevant and efficient in a constantly evolving market. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more great tips on building SaaS and growing your business. And feel free to book a course with us at Interactive using the link in the description below if you want to talk to a SaaS expert. Thanks for watching.